Brule here down at the cellar door in Mildura. Mm -hmm. This place um, has a heap of wines from different um, regions in the area. So you can literally come here and taste most of the wines in this region. Um, we had a delicious cheese board. I think everyone enjoyed it. Um, so we've had a few wines and we've had some good service. And I'll just show you around a little. I don't have my mask on, so I'm going to have to be quick. So you just grab, like, we just bought like a jar of olives. And then you come over here, you grab your dips, your cheeses you want. You give it to them and they'll make it up into a cheese board. So, really good idea. And nice, friendly people. And the space is good. And as you can see, wines for days. And they don't have any wine over $44.95, I think it was, here. Um, so, very well priced wines as well. Look what John's picked up this time. I think he's a stumpy, is he? Where's yeah, his tail? He is. Yep, yeah, he's a stumpy. No. No. What about things? What happened? No. What is it? Put him back. Let him go hide. Or was he trying to get a drink? Uh, did he want more? Yeah. Yeah. What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Geez. What's in there? What's in there? Get him. Get him! Is he in there? In there? Is he up in there? Wolf! Oh! 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 Where's it going? Where's it going? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Get him. Skitch him. Get him. Skitch him. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where is he? Where is he? Skitch him. Where's he going? Where is he? Where's he? Where's he? Our little goanna chaser this is. Can you see him? Come here, Dees. Come on. What about down here? It looks like he might go through there because there's like holes that come out the other side. Come on, Dees. What about... Is Stumpy still down here, Dees? Stumpy came back. Stumpy's down in here. He was. He came back. He was under your van. Oh, there's the goanna. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, there's the goanna. He's up the tree. Oh, so he walked across the Oh, he scared the crap out of me then. The truth of the matter is everybody poops. I was looking for Stumpy. Can you see him, Dave? What's that? He's a big one, isn't he? Dave's on. Nah, he's still small. Blends in well with a tree. Does. We are about to head off. Um, from Merbian Common, which is just near Merbian, near Mildura. Um, beautiful, we do love this spot, but we've been here a long time. And 
it's time to go see a bit more of Victoria, seeming the um, borders aren't open at the moment anyway. So we're going to go Bendigo way. Not 100% sure where we're going to end up. We'll figure that out on the way. All right, safe travels. Just a one-nighter in Lockington, Victoria, just outside of Hachuca. Um, it's a near-free camp, we'll say. So it's $10 a night for the site, or $15 a night with power. So for the extra $5, we just grab power. Makes life a little bit easier for that one-night stop. But um, I'll show you where we are. It's called the Traveler's Rest. If you can see that in that sign there. Yeah. So the Traveller's Rest. On the main road that comes into Lockington, you have to turn just before this park here. It's not very well signposted. So <coughs> this is it here. Obviously not a lot of um, sites here. We'll walk this way. There's also an RV dump point just there which is good there's hot showers as well you get given a key to go into the hot shower <coughs> toilets there is a free barbecue as well playground for the kiddies um, what have we got here let me show you a bit of this that's quite a nice spot obviously you're probably not going to stay here too long some people might but there's not much to do I don't think so <clears throat> there's your barbecue area rotunda and just in that little round thing there that's actually the shower block but instant hot water so you don't run out of hot water and your toilet block over there so yeah you can stay here for a maximum of two weeks I'm pretty sure it was four day nights <clears throat> but if you just need you know somewhere to stop and cheap this is actually a pretty good place and it's close to a chuka all right hope that's helpful we are down here in rochester and we are at rochi rumors bistro and cafe or cafe and bistro actually i got that wrong i'll just show you a picture of the 
really good food. Um, I'll go back to the food. I've already half eaten this. It's a ginormous, massive meal. Um, they're trying the best they can in the current circumstances. They can only seat so many people. So make sure you um, either book or um, obviously if you just walk in, you may not be able to be seated at the time. And come down. Um, gone blank. New Greens. Die and... Bruce Dice. Bruce and, and Di are in the business. And Sharon, if you're lucky. That's the daughter. She's helping out at the moment because she can't work seasonal anywhere else due to COVID. So come down here, um, have a beer, have a meal, and enjoy it. All right, thanks. Hi there. We are now at Greens Lake. It's a free camping spot. About 15 minutes out of Rochester. Um, probably about half an hour from Machuca. Um, you've also got Kyabram, Kyabram, and you've got Bendigo not too far away. So we've been here a few nights. It's uh, really quite a nice ground. As you can see, it's a massive lake there. And it's pretty popular at the moment. There's a row of vans going around the edge there. And up there you've got rubbish bins. You've also got um, free hot showers. They're like a push button, one temperature and they last not very long. You've got to keep pressing the button, but still, it's free. And they are drop toilets, and there's also an RV dump point up there. So that's really good. So we are over here. Now, we've been busy this week because um, we did something silly again, and we bought another caravan on the road, as you do. So the A-van is now going to be up for sale all set up on the 12 volt and we have bought ourselves a caravan caravan so this one has a full on suite as well so it is 21 foot we've been busily setting it up for free camping we've got another battery inside the van as well um, if you come through here it's got a massive living area there nice big seating and that also converts to a big double bed full-size double bed um, we've also got built-in stereo plenty of cupboards um, kitchen one thing i really like about this van is these benches are at normal bench height a lot of times in a caravan they are very low and it hurts my back actually if i'm doing the dishes so this is actually an imported van so it also has a ducted gas heating so there's ducts all throughout the van there is also a gas hot water service and also an elect um, it works on electric as well and also so does the ducted heating works on electric so as you can see there's just a lot more storage than what we had before we've also got a full-size oven We've still got the one hot plate that's an uh, electric hob microwave, and we've got a much bigger fridge. So we were struggling a bit with the fridge, living full time in the van, but we can get a lot more in there. It's missing a couple of shelves, so we're going to have to try to order them. But now, old van, our freezer was chock a block, and as you can see, we've still got plenty of room in there. Through into here is the bedroom. You can actually book this. This bit here folds up and closes this off. And there's also a door just here that you can slide out and literally shut off the bedroom. So if someone wants to stay up, you can do that without annoying them. In here, I've got it around the other way at the moment, but the TV's in there. And also some nice drinks. And you can spin that around. But at the moment, it's set up to the bedroom. As you can see, there's plenty of storage in here as well. So, um, there's the telly. Nice big cupboards in here. Um, lots of storage in there. And we've also got more storage down the bottom. Little sort of shelves everywhere. Of course, there's the under bed shelving as well. Then you go into our bathroom. We've got a full size shower, um, vanity, toilet, electric flush toilet and plenty of storage in the back here which is really good 
it's just storage everywhere. See the ducts there for the heating into the shower. And if we come just back around here, sorry if I'm moving too fast. This door opens up and closes off to the bedroom when you're having a shower, but it also has a drying cupboard because down under here is another duct. So you can dry your stuff in there. So what it doesn't have is awning, um, an awning, but we're in the process of getting that put on. Um, it's got all the block out blinds and mesh that go up and down. Massive skylight above the bed, which is really nice. Um, plenty of lighting. That's a reverse fan, so either blow in or, or exhaust out. Yeah, so we've been busy because I, I tend to um, trust people a bit too much and um, just take their word for things. And some of the things I should have checked was got them to plug this van into power and make sure everything works. When we actually got it home, well, we couldn't even get the car lights to work and we stopped on the side of the road to try to get them working. We couldn't get them working. So we pulled some stuff out and um, some person who she had lent this van to had literally cut out sections of wiring loom in the um, in the caravan so literally all the wires had been cut um, really nasty thing to do so we've spent a couple of days well um, the father-in-law he's really good with this stuff so he's actually wired that all up so we really appreciate having him on the road with us He's wired all back up. Um, the gas heater wasn't working, so we, we had to fix that as well. The hot water service had never been used, and that wasn't working. He's also fixed that. So, yes, we've, we've been very busy trying to get the van actually how it should have been when we purchased it. The only good thing is we got it pretty cheap, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll show you some pictures after this video of the wiring loom that was cut. It's just... Pretty nasty stuff. They'd also cut all the aerials to the um, TV points and everything, so not very nice. But um, other than that, it's in pretty good nick. It was pretty filthy when we got it, um, but we've cleaned it up and yeah, it's cleaned up really well. Even the outside was filthy. We've cleaned all that up and um, yeah, it's come off treat. So and it's got a nice big boot at the front. So. We're actually moved in there now, uh, moved in today, but um, yeah, if you're down this way, I'd recommend this as a nice um, campground to come to, free, and um, the, the lake's pretty nice too, so yeah, I'm going to do some aerial shots for you as well, so I'm about to do that now.